Hi, I'm Dr. Stephanie Carpentier, and today I'm going to explain peptic ulcer disease. There are two types of peptic ulcers. The first is located in the stomach, and it's effectively an open wound in the lining of the stomach. And the second is usually in the upper part of the small intestine, called the duodenum. Peptic ulcer disease is most commonly caused by a bacteria called H. pylori. It can also be caused by chronic NSAID use, such as aspirin, naproxen, or ibuprofen. It's important to note that spicy food, stress, smoking, and alcohol consumption don't cause peptic ulcer disease, but they can make symptoms worse. The most common symptom of peptic ulcers is burning stomach pain. This pain can be worsened by stomach acid or an empty stomach. You can try eating certain foods or taking acid-reducing medication for temporary relief, but pain may recur later. Peptic ulcer disease can cause symptoms like nausea, vomiting, weight loss, or lack of appetite. It can also cause severe symptoms like blood in the stool, shortness of breath, or weakness. In those cases, it's very important to contact your health care provider. To diagnose peptic ulcer disease and its causes, your care provider may order a stool sample, laboratory testing, a series of x-rays, or even an upper endoscopy. Treatment of peptic ulcer disease includes eliminating H. pylori, reducing or eliminating anti-inflammatories, and antacid medication. Peptic ulcer disease can be managed effectively with the right medical plan and by keeping your healthcare provider informed about your condition. If you have any symptoms of peptic ulcer disease that we reviewed today, it's important to contact a healthcare professional for additional support and guidance. Thank you.